We're back with music mogul and best-selling author, Matthew Knowles. Listen, I um, was going over some of the things in your book and you talk about eroticized rage. What exactly is that and how did you combat that struggle within yourself? Uh, you also noted in the book, uh, speaking in terms of your ex-wife, that you thought that she was white when you brought her home. Wow. Talk Which one me. do you want me to answer first? All of them. <laughs> I, it's an A, B, C, and D. I, I just have to just show okay. everything. Because okay. <laughs> when I read that, I was like, what is he? She's I was excited. perplexed. Yes, I am. So let's talk about eroticized rage. I talk in a book about years of therapy that I, I went through. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and one of my therapy sessions was a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. And we understood that my... My I, racial trauma yes. uh, was what I was struggling with. Mm -hmm. uh, and I learned that term through therapy. Mm -hmm. And what it simply means is another race. And a right of size rage is when black men especially have this anger and rage. Mm -hmm. And we think through those relationships that we can get our power back. Mm. And, and so that's what eroticized rage is. Wow. And, and certainly I was one that uh, expressed that. That's mm -hmm. deep. Now, speaking of your book, there's a quote in your book well, that says... I didn't says, answer her second question. Oh, I'm sorry. Question. Not. You, you didn't. See? It, it was a lot of questions. It was. You wanna, well, this you, is a, right, ser it's it's a series. And, and it, that was the first time that I, I had just, ever I heard of that term. So, so I do want to understand. It is a good So idea. you went through therapy, and it helped you to understand exactly what, what was going on and how you had been traumatized. Yeah. Exactly. And you wanted to correct that. Yeah. Exactly. Right. And then the Miss Tina part. Mm -hmm. uh, I was at a party, mm -hmm. and I saw this beautiful woman on the opposite side of the room, mm -hmm. and I thought she was white. Well, at that point in my life, I made comments like, I only date white women, mm -hmm. or I only date light complexion women, mm -hmm. black women, and I thought she fell into one of those categories, mm -hmm. and as I got to know her, obviously, uh, she was the black, not only on the inside, but on the outside as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I appreciate your honesty, Matthew. Yeah. I well, do. You know, I wanted to be vulnerable in this, this, this book, because in your vulnerability lies your safety. Mm. I'm going to talk about it. And strength. And I wanted and to also strength. share with black men uh, the stigma that uh, therapy means you're weak. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's just the opposite. Mm -hmm. Going to therapy shows strength. Strength. And so I wanted to be vulnerable so we could change that stigma, Absolutely. hopefully. Well, thank you so much, Absolutely. Matthew. We are learning so much here with Matthew. And you can pick up his book, Racism from the Eyes of a Child, on Amazon.com. And the conversations always continue.